welcome back to the Inspired Entrepreneur with Heather Hope. Hi everyone, welcome back. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Today is November 29th. This is Heather Hope with the Inspired Entrepreneur. Okay, so if you're new here, welcome. I have not officially introduced myself in quite some time. I kind of just jump into it these days. So my name is Heather Hope. I have been a law of attraction person for quite some years now. Um, a law of attraction coach, mentor, teacher. I call myself a teacher at this point. And I have written a book um, called The Inspired Entrepreneur. It is out. It's on Amazon. The link is down below. And it's a daily, so it's 366 days of inspiration for the entrepreneur. So if you're here as an entrepreneur, business owner, um, any kind of 1099 <laughs> type of person, even, you know, it, in self-employment of some sort, this is for you. If you're into the law of attraction, if you're into Abraham Hicks, this is for you. Okay, so pick up the book and follow along. This is a daily podcast just for you. So it is going to be, well, it is a daily podcast for the first year. And then we'll see what happens after that. That's a long time. <laughs> so, um, and in the book, so when you get the book, you can have it on your desk. It's about 400 pages. So it's, it's a nice thick book. And so this, there's a couple of ways to use the book. First of all, you can just, whatever day it is, you can flip to that. And it'll be just a quick reminder of something that has to do with the law of attraction and running your business or life in general. Or the other way, which is how I like to do it as well, is whenever you're feeling inspired, like it, inspired means really when you have the thought, that's really kind of what inspiration is. It's just having a thought and you're like, oh yeah. And then you go and flip through the book, just flip to a random page and it's kind of like a fortune cookie. It's a message that you need to hear in that moment. So I love it. It's helped me so many times since writing it that <laughs> I, I knew it was a very powerful book. Okay, so let's jump into it. Today's a long one. It's a long message, but it's a really good one. Okay, so November 29th, today is Sunday. We're in the year 2020. It's almost December, which is so amazing. Okay, let's get into it. If it's not active in your vibration, law of attraction will not bring it to you. Being active in your vibration means that you have focused upon it, talked about it, told the story of it, thought about it. You can stop focusing upon something unwanted and it will go away. You attract based on your focus. That's why I say your focus is your superpower. The more you focus on something, the more it is coming to you. Use your focus for all the things that you want. Your focus is your f superpower, guys, <laughs> is your superpower. So whatever you focus on, and what I say is, whatever your eyes look at, whatever your ears listen to, whatever your mouth talks about, <laughs> whatever your mind thinks about, whatever you touch, I suppose as well, right? Whatever you're focused upon, is what is active or what will be active in your vibration because of it. So the best way here, so I, there's things that I do. The best way to get somebody out of your life is to stop talking about them, stop thinking about them. And you can do that. So I've done that with numerous people in my life and occasionally they pop in my mind. And then you know what I do when they occasionally pop in my mind? I purposely change the subject quickly because we have that ability. And if you say you don't have that ability, you have created that to not be an ability. You know what I mean? Like you create your reality, period, <laughs> right? I love it when Abraham says that. It reminds us of you are creating everything that's in your life just simply by the focus you put on it. So if you have crazy, I just heard, I listened to like probably two or three Abrahams this morning when I woke up. 
And they had mentioned, if you're watching cable news, you need to stop. <laughs> if you're, it's just because they're like, they said, there's nothing good there. <laughs> if you want to watch, if you want the good stuff, get off the news and focus on the beautiful things in your home or outside or your dog. You know what I mean? Like if you want things to not be active in your vibration, you have to stop putting your focus on it. You have to stop talking about it. You have to stop doing all of that. And then it will go away because if it's not active in your vibration, it cannot be there. Got it? <laughs> so let's go back through this. So you can stop focusing upon something unwanted and it will go away. So, so like, Things slip from my memory all the time because I stopped thinking about them. I, I said it the other day of like there were some things that I could not remember at all. And the only reason it's not like I'm getting old and losing my memory. That's not it. You lose your memory because you're not focused on something. You forget somebody's name because you haven't thought about them in five years or five months or five minutes even. You know what I mean? Like you haven't thought about it. So your memory kind of like isn't there. You, it's not in the vibration. So, and if you do, if you come across those moments, which we all do, because it's just how it is that you can't remember somebody's name and say you are getting older, right? I mean, you're getting age older, right? <laughs> don't say, well, I'm getting older and I'm losing my, don't say shit like that. <laughs> Like I hear stuff from people all the time and I'm like, stop it, stop saying it because you're, you're, because aging is, aging is optional, right? Aging, the process of aging, like our body aging is optional. And the way that that's optional is how much focus are you putting on it? Are you, look how many, how many older people, like much older than me, right? Probably much older than you who live in incredibly young lives. You know what I mean? Like there's some, there's some people in their eighties, nineties, a hundred who are still doing a lot of, a lot of the things like they're very active. They're into, they're into exercise and they look incredible. They don't look their age at all. You know what I mean? They have chosen to age very well. We get to choose how we age. We get to choose what, we want to focus on. It's powerful. So if it's not active in your vibration, law of attraction will not bring it to you. So you have to stop thinking about it. You have to stop talking about it. All the things that are annoying to you, you have to stop talking about them. I still, I mean, I catch myself probably daily complaining about something. <laughs> and then I, I, I don't complain as much as I used to, which is great. And I remind myself pretty quickly, okay, what do I want? Okay, focus. And I, t I go through the whole thing in my mind or out loud like, okay, Heather, if you want to stop attracting that, you have to stop talking about it. You have to stop complaining about it. You have to stop being annoyed by it. And you have to just put your focus on what you do want. Either what you do want, like I, I will flip what I think about to what I do want. Like I just flip the, I just flip it. Okay, I don't want this. So what do I want? basically the opposite, right? And then I'll think about that for a little bit. And then I go and do something else. That's basically kind of how I do it. Because it's just a reminder, okay, I'm annoying myself. Like, do you ever annoy yourself? I annoy myself every so often. And so I have to remind myself, what do I want? Oh, yeah, I went down the rabbit hole again, of whatever it was. And so each time it's it's a shorter rabbit hole each time it's shorter because I catch myself a lot quicker. And then I remind myself, I ask the question, what do I want? Oh yeah, this is what I want. Okay. Focus there. <laughs> that's, that's the work, right? That's the work. Okay. So you attract based on your focus. It's your superpower. Just remember that part because it is whatever you focus upon or your focus is your superpower super power your superpower is you attract more of what you focus on so you have, you have to focus on what you want okay so that is all for today and go pick up my book it is on 
It's on Amazon. Go get it. <laughs> and then you could read, read along with me. Okay, guys, have an amazing rest of your weekend, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.